<laughs> Hello, a very warm welcome to this video clip. My name is Evelyn Lindner. I'm the founding president of Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies, the global network of concerned academics and, and practitioners who wish to bring more dignity into the world. I'm also the, one of the primary initiators of the World Dignity University, which grows out of the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network. We are about 1,000 members, personally invited, and we wish to do the next step and to manifest our work in, in a new form as a university. I'm also, I'm not only the convener, a convener of networks, I'm also a researcher on my own account. And I show you now the last two books that I wrote. This is the last book, Gender, Humiliation and Global Security. This is the book that came out before that, Emotion and Conflict. And the first book was titled Making Enemies, Humiliation and International Conflict. How do we, do we envisage to develop the World Dignity University? Of course, the structure and the way we manifest it must also dignify us and be dignified, must express dignity in itself. So we want to develop it as a process, a fluid process of co-creation. We would like to invite you to co-create this idea, this initiative together with us. The principle we follow is the principle of unity in diversity. Unity is the value of dignity, of equality in dignity, which we have in the first sentence of the first article of the Human Rights Convention, every human being is born free and equal in dignity and rights. So this is what unites us. And then we would like to invite everybody, all academics, all practitioners from around the world who would like to contribute with their diverse approaches to that unifying topic. And since I'm also a researcher, I would like to show you what we think uh, and inspire you with explaining to you the contributions I could make to the World Dignity University as a professor at the World Dignity University. The idea is that you could make similar videotapes, you could ask a trusted friend to put a camera in front of you, just like this now, and you explain your work, why you think that dignity is important, and how you think you could contribute to a World Dignity University. So I would like to inspire you, and uh, let us say in one year's time, two years time, ten years time, we will have a large archive, a library of ideas on our World Dignity University website. And imagine a student from Africa, from Asia, who comes to our website and who sees your little video, clicks on it and says, oh yes, I would love to have you be my professor and explain your topic to me in a lecture, in a seminar, in a workshop, could be face-to-face, -face, combined with online. So let us say, in a, after a while, you have 10, 20 people who are interested in your topic. And this then can motivate you to go one step further to prepare and videotape, for example, a lecture of two hours. Next step would be then a seminar or workshop. So this video clip is, is the first presentation of what you can contribute. So let me now share with you what I could contribute with. Uh, I will read to you now the list of... Um, possible topics and of course my three books the titles could also serve as titles for courses or lectures mm, Making Enemies Humiliation and International Conflict was my first book 2006 then the second book was on Emotion and Conflict in 2009 and the third book Gender, Humiliation and Global Security 
in 2010. Then I have a long list of topics, the role of dignity and humiliation for intercultural communication and global interhuman communication. This is what I think we have to aim at. Then the role of dignity and humiliation for trauma therapy, for terrorism, for genocide, for war, for world economy, for national sovereignty, for peace, reconciliation and forgiveness. Then of course I can also share my personal path with you, my personal biography, you know, a journey from displacement, I come from a displaced family, to global citizenship. Then my research experience, I did research in many, many parts of this world, lived in many parts since about 35 years, I'm a global citizen. I lived in, in, did research in Egypt, Rwanda, Burundi, Somalia, Japan, China, USA, Europe, it's a long list. Then of course the, world, the role of dignity and humiliation for sustainable world culture, uh, global citizenship as a path to dignity and prevention of humiliation, the role of human rights ideals for honor, dignity, shame and humiliation, the role of dignity and humiliation for conflict, the role of dignity and humiliation for love, hate and other emotions, and for sexuality, or how to be a Mandela and create a world of freedom and dignity instead of fighting for individual freedom in an undignified world. And I have already an introductory, introductory lecture titled Dignity and Humiliation, the World at a Crossroad, which, you, which is two, two hours and it has been taped both in 2009 and 2011. And you find both our you know, full length on our website. Let me again invite you very warmly to co-create together with us a global culture of dignity and respect and neutrality, collaboration, cooperation, so that we create a global culture of dignity for the future of our human family. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm.